Is a dishwasher useful in Indian kitchen? Do large utensils even fit in it? Can it clean tough stains? And most importantly, how much does electricity and water cost? If you too have all these questions in your mind, then this video is for you. Because today, in this video, all your doubts related to dishwashers will be clear. Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to Archie's Corner if you are new here. And in today's video, I am going to talk about dishwashers in detail. So please watch this video till the end and I also want to confirm that this video is not sponsored by any brand. Whatever I say in this video is my personal experience and my genuine opinion. So now let's get started. At the very first, we should know what a dishwasher is. Let's take dishwasher as a fully automated machine in which we put our dirty utensils and get clean and dry utensils back. And just like a washing machine, we have to arrange electricity supply, water supply and water drainage option. This is our 13 place setting Bosch dishwasher which we have been using from past 5 years. In this dishwasher there are two racks and we need to arrange dirty utensils according to its size. First of all remove the leftover food from utensils before keeping them in dishwasher. Soaking is not necessary for normal utensils but the ones like milk vessel or deep fried ones would wash well with soaking. Plates go into the plate holders and large utensils go on the bottom rack. Small plates, cups, small utensils go into the top rack. All utensils should be facing downwards on the racks and should not be stacked on top of each other. Stacking the utensils is tricky and time taking for the first few runs till you get hang of it. I remember during the initial days, I felt like loading dishwasher was the toughest task. Since we kind of uh, get confused on what, where to give what. But as days passed by, I got hold of the technique and now loading utensils is just a breeze. After arranging all the utensils, we need to make sure that the water spraying fans are able to spin without getting stuck. Otherwise, the utensils won't get clean properly. Dishwashers are designed in a way that you can fully utilize its space according to the utensil size. We can do a lot of customizations in a dishwasher like if the number of dirty plates are more, you can unfold the spikes and set the plates in it. Now we'll talk about the kind of detergents we use in dishwasher, how to maintain it and finally how much all these things cost. So first we will talk about its cleaning essentials. A dishwasher needs a combination of three cleaning agents, salt, detergent and rinse aid. This is the slot where dishwasher salt should be filled. Don't confuse this for normal table salt. This is a special salt used to convert hard water into soft water which prevents hard water stains on the dishes. We don't need to refill salt for every wash. We'll have to refill once in a month or two based on the usage. This is a slot where detergent or tablet should be placed. It is recommended to use one full tablet but we normally cut the tablet in half and have been using this way from past couple of years and the wash quality remains as good as using one full tablet. We need to fill the detergent or tablet for every wash just like a washing machine. The slot next to this is where rinse aid should be filled. It is a special liquid used to reduce the surface tension of water so that water won't stick on dishes during rinsing. This actually makes a lot of difference to the final wash quality. We might have to refill rinse aid every 10 washes on average. We can either use detergent or tablet. It's not like since we are using a tablet then rinse aid and salt is not required. The only difference is that if you use detergent then you need to refill salt and rinse aid frequently. But if you are using tablets then they need to be refilled after very long intervals. If I have to talk about the wash options, depending on the model there will be auto, eco and intensive modes. In this model, these are the options available. Intensive kadai is for heavily soiled dishes. Express sparkle for normally soiled dishes. Auto is for sensor controlled option. Eco is for normally soiled dishes in low energy mode. Quick is for lightly soiled dishes and with no drying option. 
Free rinse as the name suggests is for free rinse if the dishes are not going to be washed immediately. Apart from this there are extra settings available which can be used in combination with the wash options. Vario Echo will save energy and water. Now let's say we have only few vessels to be washed. In that case the half load option can be selected. Extra dry is for intensified drying performance. There is a delay start option where you can delay the time to start the dishwasher. We usually load the utensils at night and use the delay option so that it starts the wash cycle around 5 am and we wake up to clean the utensils every morning. All these features make dishwashers more useful because we can wash variety of utensils in them. Whether it's a glass, jug or containers of different material, we can wash different types of utensils in a dishwasher. I am now selecting the intensive kadai mode and it takes about 1.5 hours for the cycle to finish. Once the wash cycle is done, machine turns itself off without any buzzer. The cleaning cycle is complete now, so let's check all the utensils. Whatever the surface is plain or textured, dishwasher cleans the tiniest spaces thoroughly. There is no food stain or any soap residue on any utensil in a dishwasher. All your utensils get thoroughly cleaned every time because of which no dirt gets accumulated on them. Every utensil is looking new as if we have just bought them. We need to maintain a dishwasher just like any other appliance. All you need is 10 minutes once a month. To clean dishwasher from outside and inside, you can make a cleaning solution at home only. Half part vinegar, half part water and a few drops of dishwashing liquid and you can see how magically it works. All food residue gets collected in this filter, so make sure to clean this as well. With the help of a toothbrush and dishwashing liquid, you can easily clean them. Simply wash them and see now they are totally clean. Now we will attach them back in the dishwasher. Then through these fans only water is sprayed inside the dishwasher. That is why we should clean these as well. Running a normal cycle after placing a bowl of vinegar once every 2-3 weeks or so will help in getting rid of foul smell if any. Other than that, you will have to follow one more small step which is using the desaler. Just sprinkle it inside the dishwasher and then run the hotter cycle. You will have to repeat this step after every 3 months. This is very important as it increases the life of your machine and prevents lime scale deposition. Now we will talk about after buying a dishwasher, what's going to be its running cost per month. And the cost of running a dishwasher depends on many factors like what cycle you select, how many loads you are washing in the dishwasher, what's the water hardness level in your area and what are the electricity charges in your city. But I'll still try to give you a rough estimate if you wash one lot daily. So the cost of salt, rinse aid, detergent or tablet would range from Rs 300 to 400 per month. Now talking about electricity consumption in our area, the electricity charges are Rs 7 per unit. And according to that, our dishwasher consumes electricity of Rs 200 per month. And in a dishwasher, water consumption is very low, just 11 to 15 litres per cycle. That's why I think the cost is negligible. So in total, the cost of using and maintaining a dishwasher is Rs 500 to 600 per month. For any dishwasher, one important feature is power off memory function, also known as auto resume function. This function is very important and a lot of models nowadays don't have it and that's why I'm mentioning it explicitly. Suppose you set a one and a half hour cycle in your dishwasher, the utensils are being washed in it and suddenly the power is going off. Now when the power is restored, the machine should start from it where it stopped. It should not be like the cycle was about to get finished in 10 minutes or so and suddenly power goes off and when the power is restored, the cycle starts all over again from the beginning. That's a sheer wastage of resources. So when you're buying the dishwasher, please make sure to select a model which has this auto resume function. There is one more interesting feature that is pause and resume. Suppose you turned the cycle on and then you realize that there are one or two utensils which you forgot to keep. In that case, we can just open the dishwasher and add the utensils. The wash cycle would start from where it stopped. 
Even though silverware, steel, glass and food grade plastics get washed perfectly, aluminium, wood, cast iron and non-stick cookware and plastics which are not dishwasher compatible should not be used inside dishwasher. Sometimes I did face white residue issue after wash but most of the times adding rinse aid or salt had solved the issue. Another point to note is that heavily soiled utensils like this one won't get completely cleaned inside dishwasher. So what I usually do is to scrub off the residue after taking out from the dishwasher. So yes, we cannot deny the fact that dishwashers have their own limitations. But its advantages just overshadow all its limitations. So now let's talk about the advantages of using a dishwasher. So the first advantage is independence. You can use a dishwasher multiple times a day and whenever you feel like. And if there are guests visiting you, then you don't have to worry about so many dirty utensils. Just leave it to your dishwasher. In manual hand washing, it's not always possible to deep clean utensils. But in dishwasher, your utensils get thoroughly cleaned every time. Your crockery is also shine and there is no water residue on them. And finally, maximum utensils come out dry from the dishwasher. So now, coming to the conclusion. As you have seen, dishwashers have their own advantages and limitations. And I shared all of them with you in this video. Yes, it's a significant investment. And in my opinion, dishwasher is definitely a worthwhile investment. So if your budget allows, do go for it and go for the right one. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, then do hit the like button and to watch such interesting and useful videos, do subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and see you soon with another video. Bye.